2017, 2018, it is not 2017 anymore. 26, 2016, wow, we are really going back in time. <laughs> Today I'm here with my most anticipated reads for February 2018. I know this is coming out a little bit late, but your girl has been crazy busy with school, so just getting around to filming this now. So sorry, but I have a total of six books and I tried to pick ones that aren't as popular so that hopefully y'all can get some different books on your radar. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first book that I have is one of the more popular books that I chose and it is American Panda by Gloria Chow and I was actually sent this copy by Simon Schuster Canada so thank you so much for sending me a copy because I'm way too excited for this book. This was released on February 6, 2018 so it's actually already out so go pick up a copy if you're interested. The book follows 17 year old Mei Lu who has her whole life planned out for her by her parents. They want her to become a doctor and they also want her to marry a pre-planned boy. But May has other plans. She actually is terrified of germs, so obviously she doesn't really want to be a doctor, and she also has a crush on a boy in her school. Then she reconnects with her brother, who was basically sent away from her family because he married the wrong woman. After talking to her brother and having him back in her life, she realizes that she doesn't want what her parents want for her, and it's kind of like the journey of her trying to figure out who she is and what she wants for herself. But I've heard amazing things from the people who have read it, so I'm very excited to pick it up when I get the chance. The next book I'm super excited about is called The Lucky Ones, and this is by Tiffany Rays, and this is supposed to be released February 13th, 2018, and this copy was sent to me by HarperCollins, so thank you so much to HarperCollins because it sounds so good. It follows seven children who call themselves the lucky ones. They were either orphaned or abandoned by their parents and taken in by this super famous surgeon who lets them live in his like almost magical beach house called the dragon. So Allison is the youngest of these seven children and she's living like her best life. She's having a great old time until one night she almost dies and then she's whisked away from her adoptive family. Now 13 years later she receives this letter from Roland who is the doctor's oldest son. The letter warns her that their father is on his last legs and she needs to come say goodbye so she travels back to the dragon and it basically is the story of her uncovering her past and all the secrets that lie within the family. She's also trying to figure out whether or not what happened to her 13 years ago was an accident or if somebody was trying to kill her like she's always suspected. So it just sounds like super thrilling and interesting and I'm very excited to see what this little mystery holds. The next book I'm super excited about is called Cadaver and Queen and this is by Alyssa Quinty. And this was also sent to me by HarperCollins, so thank you so much again to HarperCollins. I'm honestly not 100% sure what this is about, other than it's a Frankenstein retelling, and I love retellings, so as soon as I saw that it was a Frankenstein retelling, I was like, can I please have it? Like, I need it. Please, 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 please. And they were kind enough to send it to me, so I'm very excited about it. But yeah, all I really know is that Frankenstein retelling, and like, I'm here for it. This is supposed to be released on February 27th, 2018, so soon. The next book that I'm excited for will make Dylan very happy that I'm saying this. It is The Apocalypse of Elena Mendoza. This is by Sean David Hutchinson. This is supposed to be released on February 6th, 2018, so it is actually already out, so go get yourself a copy. The book follows 16-year-old Elena Mendoza, who is suddenly able to heal this girl named Freddy who was shot in a parking lot. The boy who shot Freddy magically disappeared into the clouds and there's also a talking girl on a tampon box. So unbelievable things are happening to Elena without any explanation. Then she discovers that the world might actually be ending and she's the only one who has the ability to stop it. So 
I don't know, it sounds like super messed up, super like play with your head, so I'm very excited about it and Dylan loves it and he told me to read We Are The Ants, I loved it, so I'm assuming I'm just gonna love this one too, but we'll see if I ever get myself a copy. The next book that I'm excited for is called Broken Beautiful Hearts and this is by Cami Garcia. This was also released on February 6, 2018, so it's out already, get yourself a copy if you're interested. The book follows Peyton, who used to be a star soccer player, until she tore a ligament in her knee, which ended her career after her boyfriend Reed pushed her. No one believes her story, and she loses her scholarship and her sense of identity. She ends up moving to a small town with her uncle and her twin cousins, and that is where she meets Owen and begins to fall for him. I have two reasons why I'm excited for this book. First, I read the Lovely Reckless by Cami Garcia and I absolutely loved it so I'm just gonna assume that I'm gonna like this book too because it's Cami Garcia. And then two, I think that I'm really going to be able to relate to Peyton because my basketball career ended off of an injury so I totally get the whole like sense of identity shattering thing so I'm excited to see if I do identify with her and yeah I just think it's gonna be a fun little story and also like contemporary is cool so. And then the final book that I have is called The Last to Let Go and this is by Amber Smith and it is also released on February 6, 2018 so already out there, get yourself a copy. After her mother was arrested for killing her abusive father, Brooke has to embrace her new sense of self and the challenge of her changing world and that's really all I want to know about it. Amber Smith, who I used to be a while ago, I think like two years ago, and I really really liked it. So I'm hoping that I really like this one as well. Basically all the ones that I chose were based off of authors that I've read before, so I'm like, yes, we into it. We liked their last books, we gonna like these books. So hopefully that is true. Alright guys, so that was my most anticipated reads for February. 2018. Hopefully I uh, finished the three that I got arcs of. Thank you so much to Simon and Schuster and HarperCollins for sending me those books. I'm so excited to read them. Let me know down below what books y'all are excited for this month and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!